Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, great to today. We are going to learn uh, about habitats and how do habitats change. Uh, we're going to learn the vocabulary words uh, drought, endangered, uh, fossil, extinct. So the vocabulary words that we are going to learn throughout this lesson are uh, drought, endangered, fossil, extinct. Uh, we will start uh, with what is a habitat. Uh, a habitat is a place uh, where living uh, things look for their needs and find their needs in order to survive. So um, if you look at this habitat, you will find out that this plant, this living thing, the plant is not getting what it's need and it's uh, going to die. Um, it's, uh, if you look at the uh, soil and the cracks in the soil, uh, you will notice that this habitat is not getting enough uh, water, uh, has not get enough water for a long period of time. A habitat that does not get enough water for, long, for a long period of time uh, is called a drought habitat. It is called a drought habitat. So a drought habitat is the habitat that does not get um, enough water for a long period of time. And plants and all plants and animals and all living things they need water in order to survive. Yeah. So the first vocabulary word that we have just learned is that drought is the habitat that does not get enough water for a long period of time. How can you know that from the cracks in the soil? Look at these examples, please. Uh, here is another uh, habitat. Uh, you can see from the cracks that this uh, habitat is not getting enough uh, uh, water. Also look at this habitat. Uh, the living things in this habitat are also not getting enough uh, water as you can realize from the uh, plants. Plants are not uh, um, in greenery and uh, the, it seems that it's a dry place that's not getting enough water. Back to the lesson, uh, we're going to talk about what happens when habitats change. Uh, what happens when habitats change? When habitats change, when habitats change, uh, living things uh, will uh, lose a lot of uh, their needs and their habitats. And uh, uh, why these uh, habitats change, or why habitats change? Habitats change for many reasons. The first reason is nature. Nature can change habitats. Look at this example, please. Floods can also change habitat. Floods are caused by nature. Uh, the flood here, it uh, changes uh, the habitat of living things. It may uh, have damaged uh, some shelters of uh, some animals. And also uh, look at the trees and how the, the, the flood covered most of these trees. So uh, floods can change habitat. And uh, when habitat are changed, it means animals, they will be endangered. Animals will be what? Endangered. What do I mean by animal will be endangered? Let's go back to our lesson. Animals will be endangered means animals will not, animals will, uh, will, will not uh, get what, what they need in their uh, environment or in their uh, habitat. And when they start to lose uh, the things that they need or they will no more find the things that they need in their habitats, they will be endangered. It means they will die and some of them will be left on the habitat. So endangered animals are animals that they are dying and only um, some of them are being left in the habitat. Why do they start to die? Because they can no more uh, find the needs they, uh, they are looking for in their habitat. Okay, uh, for example, the example I showed you uh, here, the, the example I'm sure I showed you here is that this flood changed the nature. It may have destroyed the shelters of some animals. So when animals start to lose their homes, it means they will become endangered. That's why we have to make sure that animals are getting all what they need from the habitats. Another cause is fire. 
if you look here, fire has destroyed this forest. It destroyed the trees. Trees are living things, and trees can be homes or shelters for some of the animals. And this will tell us that animals will be endangered because they may have lost their homes. Another cause is human. Human beings, they are destroying the forest. They are destroying the forest because they are building on the uh, forest. The forest is a habitat for many animals. So when they destroy this habitat, when they destroy the forest, animals will lose their homes. And when they lose their homes, they will become endangered. Only some of them will be left on the habitat. Now, we will deal with something else. If you look here, you will find out that this man is digging, is digging down in the ground. Why he, this animal is digging? He is looking for fossils. This animal is digging because he is looking for fossils. Why fossils are important? Why fossils are important? Because they tell us about the past. Fossils are important because they tell us about the past and they can tell us how the animal looked or moved in the habitat. So fossils, they tell us about the past of the habitat. How was this habitat before? And fossils, they tell us about how the animal looked before in the past. So fossils, they are found down in the ground and they can show us two things. How does this habitat look before? And how did this habitat, sorry, look before? And how did this animal look before or moved? Okay, so fossils are very important to scientists. Okay, it shows how did this habitat look in the past and it shows how or it tells how the animal looked or moved. Fossil, the word fossil, the word fossil is very important, okay, for scientists because it tells them about so many facts about the habitat and the living things that lived on the habitat. Now, the word extent, I'm going to explain the word extent which is very important and it is related to uh, the word fossil and endangered. When animals get endangered, they will uh, die and only uh, some of them will be left. But when all animals die in a certain habitat, they will become extinct, like dinosaurs. Dinosaurs are extinct because there are no more, di more, no more dinosaurs living in any of the habitats in this world. So extinct, it means when you can no more find, like the animals, uh, we can no more find uh, animals living in a certain environment, they are totally, all of them died, it means they are extinct. You can no more see dinosaurs anymore, it means dinosaurs are extinct. It means dinosaurs are what? Extinct. Some animals in the world now are becoming critically endangered. It means they will become extinct. Here is an example. Okay, the black, the black rhinoceros, this black rhinoceros is critically endangered. It means if, he, if people or humans are not helping this animal to get what it needs from the habitat to survive, it will be endangered and after it will be extinct. You will no more find black rhinoceros anymore. So extinct, it means when the animal is no more appearing in a certain environment, it died. It's what it died. Now, 
This is the radiated tortoise. This radiated tortoise is also critically endangered. It means that after a long time or after a part of time, it will no more what it will no more be appear and be appearing in any of the environment. It will no more you will no more find a radiated tortoise in any of the habitats where it lives because it is endangered. It's now critically endangered. It seems that it's not getting um, everything it needs to survive. Back to our lesson. Now we learn till now the word drought, fossil, endangered, and extinct. Drought, to review, is a habitat that does not get enough rain. Okay? Endangered are the animals that are dying and only some of them are left to live. Fossil, fossil, it's a leftover of an animal that you can find under the ground and it tells me about the past of the habitat and about the habitats who, uh, which lived and moved in the habitat. Extinct are the animals that are no more existing in the world, are no more existing in the world, in the world like the dinosaur. Habitats can be changed by nature, as we, say, as we said, and people. Plants and animals can die or lose their homes when the habitat change. Now, when an animal has died out, it's, dead, it's said to be extinct. When the animal has died out, when you can no more find a kind of a certain animal in the world, like the dinosaur, it means it is what? Extinct. When there are few animals left, it means the animal is endangered. When some of them are left uninhabited, it means they are endangered. A what is, a, is left of a living thing from the past? It is a fossil. The fossil is a leftover or the left of a living thing from the past. A what is a long period of time when there is little or no rain? A what? A drought habitat. A drought habitat is the habitat that does not get enough rain. Now, here we're going to review the vocabulary words together. Okay. Drought, a long period of time with little or no rain. Endangered, with many of one kind of animal die and only few are left. Fossil, what is left of a living thing from the past. Extinct, when a living thing dies, uh, no more of its kind live on earth. When it dies, and no more of its kind is living on earth. Now, I hope you have enjoyed this video. And you can repeat and pause whenever you need, whenever you need to um, repeat a certain concept or idea, you can pause and repeat again in order to understand. I know you're very smart. I love you so much. I wish you a wonderful evening. Love you great too. Thank you.